He knows These are them. both lies. That he knows all. These are both lies. He said, he said, I'm not aware They're of just bold faced lies. That's how Josh Fox, creator of the anti-fracking movies Gasland and Gasland Part 2, describes what's said by those who disagree with them. It's an interesting position, especially since critics said Gasland itself was one-sided, flawed, and personal in the Michael Moore mode. Fundamentally dishonest, a deliberately false presentation for dramatic effect. The iconic scene in Gasland, on which Fox hinged the film's entire credibility, was a flaming faucet in Weld County, Colorado. But two full years before Gasland's release, Colorado regulators investigated this complaint and found no indications of oil and gas-related impacts. After Gasland came out, the state of Colorado again confirmed that fact. According to the Colorado Oil and Gas Conservation Commission, the flaming faucet was not related to oil and gas activity, and was instead due to the landowner's water well, which penetrated at least four different coal beds that contained methane. In the sequel, Gasland Part 2, Fox's iconic scene is a man from Parker County, Texas, lighting the end of a garden hose. But once again, state regulators determined that the company drilling the nearby wells was not responsible, and the methane was naturally occurring. According to the Texas Railroad Commission, which regulates oil and gas activity in the state, by dropping their court case and enforcement actions, EPA now acknowledges what we at the Railroad Commission have known for more than a year. Range Resources' Parker County gas wells did not contaminate groundwater. This announcement is a vindication of the science-based processes at the Railroad Commission. Later, a judge determined that a local consultant worked with the landowner on a strategy to create a deceptive video which was designed to foment fear and even get the US EPA involved. The court references with concern the actions of Mr. Stephen Lipsky under the advice or direction of Ms. Alyssa Rich to intentionally attach a garden hose to a gas vent, not a water line, and then light and burn the gas from the end of the hose. This demonstration was not done for scientific study, but to provide local and national news media a deceptive video calculated to alarm the public into believing that the water was burning. With Gasland, Josh Fox used deception to scare the public about hydraulic fracturing. With Gasland Part 2, Josh Fox apparently learned nothing because he's guilty once again of the exact same dishonesty. They're just bold-faced lies.